In this lesson, you will see how to auto-create parallel execution blocks in the DI wizard and manually create parallel execution blocks when required. While performing data warehouse testing, some projects have time constraints to finish testing in a fixed time. If you go through the normal sequential execution of tests, then it will take some time to finish the execution. As a solution to this typical problem, we can execute the independent tests in parallel so the execution time is reduced. Let's first understand the Tosca DI licensing. The standard Tosca DI license allows you to run execution sequentially on a single machine. If you have two or more machines and licenses, you can run these in parallel, but this requires two or more machines. With Tosca DI parallel execution, you can run tests in parallel using a single machine. However, this does require an additional license. Tosca DI Parallel Execution is available for testing using four modules. Set Buffer, TBox DB Expert, DI DB Expert, and Metadata Comparison. Tricentis may add additional parallel modules over time, so you can be certain by checking the properties can execute in parallel and that it's set to true. The Tosca DI wizard will automatically create parallel execution blocks when the qualifying modules are used. In our previous Vital Checks lesson, we saw how to create tests using the DI wizard. When we navigate to the execution list created now, we will see the parallel execution blocks is already created. We can manually create parallel execution blocks by using the qualifying modules in tests then dragging and dropping the tests more than one at a time into an execution list. Now let's run our vital checks execution list and watch the test run in parallel on the single machine. When you run tests in parallel, you can monitor them in the status bar below. You'll see as Tosca DI starts, the remaining time will start decreasing as the parallel execution block start up. To be sure you are running them in parallel, you can also open up your task manager and watch multiple agents fire up. Now let's have a look at our results. If you remember from our previous lesson, we said we removed one of the records from the data warehouse table. So we were expecting this test to fail. If we open up the results, we can see there's one less count from the source to target.